Okay, well welcome. I have an exciting video today. We're going to talk about how to run a welder off of a generator. So there are two different styles of these portable generators. One has 120 volt output and you can get the full wattage of the generator out of that single 120 volt uh, plug. Mine is 120 or 240 volts. So if I'm running something off 120 volts, I can really only get half of the wattage of the generator out of that outlet. So I'd only be able to get 1600 watts uh, out of my generator running a 120 volt machine. I'm gonna use this Deco Pro welder. It can run 120 or 240 volts. It's been a good machine. I picked it up for about $120 on Amazon a year or so ago, and I've really liked it. So I'm gonna hook this up to the generator using the 240 volt outlet so I can get the full 3200 watts. Let's go through a quick calculation to see how much this generator can run. So this generator has 3200 running watts, so that's what I'm gonna use for my calculation. Now I'm using an inverter welder, so I should get about 85% of the energy out that I put in. That's the efficiency of 85%. If I was using an old buzz box or transformer, I'd only get about half of the energy out that I put in. But since I'll get 85% of the energy out, I'm gonna multiply 3200 watts times 0.85. And that gives me 2720 watts coming out of the welder. Now my welding voltage is usually below 25 volts. So I'll divide this by 25 volts to get my amperage and that works out to be 108.8 amps so as long as I stay below 100 to 110 amps I should be okay running on this welder so the 120 to 240 volt generators typically have a different style of plug than your welder will have and I was going to make an adapter for this and when I went looking on Amazon it turns out that there's one that you can just buy and this is really neat I can plug my welder directly into the adapter and it has the four prong outlet to plug into the generator. Seems really well made, I'll link it in the description. So I started off with an easy test. I'm running 330 seconds of an inch, 6010 electrode at 65 amps. So I lit up with that and it's running just fine. Could run that all day. I cranked it up to uh, 85 amps and moved over to some 330 seconds of an inch, 7018, because it takes a little higher current. And I went ahead and lit up with that, and I was able to run a bead, but I could really feel that generator bogging down, so uh, I thought that would be pretty easy for it, but, uh, but it, was, it was a bit of a heavy load. Moving on, I cranked it up to 95 amps with that same 330 seconds 7018 electrode, and uh, went to strike up an arc, and, and the generator was really bogging down, so as soon as I'd light up, it would go out, and uh, I wasn't really able to run that. So the most I was able to run about is uh, about 85 amps or so. That's pretty different than the 108 that I calculated, and I was thinking about it, well, I'm at 4,500 feet of elevation, and that probably drops my power down by 10, 15% right there, so that accounts for most of it. It's also a hot day, and I made a lot of assumptions in my calculations. So I really didn't get the power out of this that I was hoping to. So hopefully this is helpful for you if you're hoping to run a welder off of a generator like this um, to, to kind of know what to expect a little bit and what you need to take into account uh, as you, you figure out what you'll be able to run. Um, if I were buying a generator just to run a welder, I'd definitely buy a bigger one or a dedicated welder generator. But uh, this is one that I had around. I have both of these pieces of equipment. I've used the generator quite a bit and the welder, and I'm really happy with both of them. Uh, it just isn't quite the power that I was hoping for uh, out of the system. So anyway, hopefully this is helpful for you, and uh, we'll see you next time.